Valley residents have been out of work for more than a week after a business that helps the developmentally disabled suddenly shuts its doors. 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan is live near Spring Mountain and Jones with more on a story you asked us to investigate. Brian. Yes, Dave, the employees we spoke with said they weren't told exactly why Carpe Diem shut its doors early last week. The bigger mystery tonight is when they will return to work, if ever. I woke up thinking I'm going to work. Mm -hmm. We all go there to get our check, and they're like, okay, well, we're hoping to open back tomorrow. Hours later, Ariana Cunningham says she was told the adult daycare wouldn't open the following day. At this point, she hasn't been back to work in more than a week. She says with no word on when or if the business will reopen, she's stuck in limbo, unable to earn money or get unemployment. It's just kind of crazy that they just abruptly just shut us down and not giving us any type of information. Cunningham says all she's been told by supervisors is they hope to reopen soon. One of the supervisors told me that there's an investigation going on. When we went digging, a source close to the investigation told us they're looking into allegations of potential criminal activity. We went to the office where a man employees identified as the company's president didn't want to talk about why the business was closed. Can't discuss it. The employees have been notified. They're well aware of it. That's all I can say. He said employees would be paid for the hours they've worked before calling into question the people raising concerns. The employees are saying you guys aren't returning their calls and aren't answering their questions. So that's why we have to continue asking questions. And the one thing I will state is the employees that are telling you this are trying to cause a discontent. They're trying to stir up trouble. They may not even be current employees. When we asked if there was anything wrong with the business forcing the closure, the man walked away and got in his car. We spoke to about a half dozen employees. None of them said they had seen anything they would consider criminal going on. We are working to check with the state agencies tasked with overseeing adult daycare businesses like this. Reporting live, Brian Callahan, 13 Action News. All right, thank you, Brian. We started looking into this story after several employees reached out to us for help. And as always, if you have an issue you want us to check out, send an email to 13investigates at ktnv.com. A Valley school is canceled.